I think Lay's made these chips to disappoint us and have us realize how great their original flavors are. That's all they want. They want people to go, you know what, your chip flavors really are good when you compare them to these alternatives. Yeah, it's like uh, trying to make your uh, girlfriend a little jealous. Hey, I'm Cameron. I'm Clint. Today we have a weekend extravaganza! Ba, 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 ba. It's a chip extravaganza. Because there's chips, get it? It's a play on words. Lay's is introducing four new flavors, and they are competing directly against four current flavors that are available right now. And one's gotta stay, one's gonna go. One's gotta stay, one's gotta go. Exactly. So, the first order of chip is Korean barbecue going head to head against Honey barbecue. It smells like a Korean barbecue and uh, that's also like inside a gas station. They sliced some potatoes to make some chips, but then they forgot about them before they cooked them. And it's sitting around for a few days. Right? It smells very potato -y. Stanky potato. Stanky potato. Well, let's see if these even have a chance against a basic honey barbecue chip. All right. Wherever that Korean flavor is in there, that's what they're doing wrong. It kind of tastes like, on the picture here, there's like, a uh, beef skewer with like green onions on it. I guess I can kind of see that if they're, if they're going for that. The honey barbecue has a flavor of barbecue sauce. Okay. The Korean barbecue has a flavor of barbecue grill. Yeah, good, exactly. It's very like lighter fluid tasting. Or charcoal. Charcoal. I like Korean barbecue, but to en encapsulate the entire spectrum of Korean barbecue into a chip, like, uh, I don't know if you could do it. I wouldn't say that you did. I'd say that you did pretty good if you were going for a charcoal briquette flavor. You barbecue a piece of chicken and you get that like end piece that's like burnt Black and crispy. Burnt. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of the flavor that I'm getting. That's now. kind of the flavor here. Do I hate it? No. Do I think it's better than uh, any basic barbecue chip? No. No, I don't hate it, but I wouldn't eat it. It's very uh, Burger King flame broiled flavor. Yeah. Next, we have olive oil and herbs flavored. This is versus the sea salt and cracked pepper chips. This is the one of the four that is kettle cooked. Mm -hmm. I like kettle cooked. I like kettle cooked as well. This smells like when you go to a nice restaurant and they give you bread and some exactly kind of what it smells like. olive oil herb stuff to dip it in. Like a focaccia bread. Yes. Smells like that. All right. Let's go try it out. All right. Whatever these herbs are, they're Ro strong. Rosemary, thyme. Yeah. These are kind of funky, dude. I don't know what it is. That's really the best way is funky. Funky. Like you're driving, you grab a handful and you kind of munch on them and you're like, a little funky. What did I just eat? But then you grab another handful because you're, you're munching and you're like, you know what, why did I grab another handful? Yeah. I'm just going to go with two herby. I feel like, uh, you know, you buy a thing of mixed seasoning. Sure, like a shake thing, a mixed seasoning, and it's like eating that, dude. Okay. Like eating spoonfuls of that. It's just too much and it's mm -hmm. too odd for what it is. I bet that olive oil's kind of giving it a funky flavor too. Olive oil can be a little uh, weird. Maybe, I thought that's what it was at first, the olive oil, and then I realized and these are the herbs in case. Do you ever smell just olive oil? It smells kind of weird. Have you ever drank just olive oil? No, I've done that. It tastes kind of weird, I bet. It tastes kind of weird, yeah. Let's move on to a new flavor. All right, let's move on. Uh, I have not had the flaming Hot potato chips. So I don't know what I'm comparing it to when we try this fiery roasted habanero. It smells vaguely spicy. I would say as far as how far we are, I am very hopeful for this to be the uh, champion of the ones we've tried so far. Reading the title, I like that kind of stuff. Let's try the fiery habanero ones. Slow burner. Does it have like a garlicky flavor in there a little bit? Yep. I was trying to pinpoint these flavors. That's one of them. This is, woo, it is spicy. <clears throat> <clears throat> spicy ketchup? Dipping like french fries in spicy ketchup maybe? Paprika? Yeah, a little paprika flavor. Not for the uh, people that don't like spicy stuff. Mm -mm. This really just tastes like a way more natural version of the flaming Hot ones. But I also feel like people are eating copious amounts of those, don't really care where the right. <laughs> source is coming from. They just Do you want... eat a lot of potato chips? No, I love them, but I don't eat very many. I get the kettle brand kettle chips from time to time. Yeah. Uh, other than that, the only potato chip I eat are the cheddar and sour cream. Oh yeah? Yeah, so uh... Pretty good? I like them. They're very artificial, but artificial cheese, I'm cool with that. Because yeah. next, we have the smoked Gouda and chive chips competing directly with those chips. Yeah, smoked Gouda and chive. So, I'm gonna go on to say smoked Gouda is probably my favorite cheese. Probably the best cheese is probably not even up for debate. Ugh. It smells like feet. It smells a little... Foot fungus Moldy cheese-ish. Yeah, alright. Let's try it out. 
Oh, it tastes a lot better than it smells though. It tastes like smoked sour cream and onion chips. I was gonna say, definite sour cream and onion element. You know, there's a little smoke gouda, like breathe out. Take a bite. Oh yeah. And then there's a smoke gouda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they did a pretty good job giving the smoke gouda flavor. Yeah, I can tell first getting it, that's cheesy. Mm-hmm. That's a different type of cheesy. Yeah, uh, to keep these and get away with, uh, get rid of the Korean one or the kettle cook one. Of these four, the smoked gouda and chive is definitely the one I like the best, but I don't want the cheddar right. and sour cream to go. You're putting this in a tough spot here, Liz. Mm -hmm. So I am going to recommend trying this, but yeah. don't vote for it to replace the cheddar and sour cream, please, for me. So let's vote on whether each flavor should stay or each flavor should go. Korean barbecue. Go. Get out of here. Kettle cooked olive oil and herb. Go. Get out of here. Fire roasted habanero. I don't care either way because I'm not buying either chip. I'm going to say it's like it's slightly better, but do I really want to go through with the effort of voting for it to stay? Mm. Yeah. Finally, smoked gouda and chive. What are you doing to me, Lays? Yeah, you know, the smoked gouda and chive, again, I'd say try it. I, if they made this, I wouldn't have it in my rotation. Okay. You know, the, the cheddar sour cream. It's in my rotation. This would not be. This would not make the rotation. But it's understandable if you want to replace it. But that's our expert opinion on these uh, snacking potato chips. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And you can use this relevant information to proceed uh, forward and buy and try and vote for the ones you like and don't like. Thanks for tuning in to the Two Minute Reviews Weekend Extravaganza Chip Extravaganza.